Okay. We can try again. Attempt number two. Oh no. Okay. Did I write down in this notebook? What? I'm doing this new thing where I like keep receipts because apparently uh, the amount of money I spend on my notification is like a tax write off or something. But uh, yeah, I hire someone for that. I have a pain journal in here. QoS content. We're not here for that. Lighting info. Anyways, what's up, y'all? So, to answer the questions, everyone is asking me. Well, not everyone. I had two questions. But, uh, I'll do it in this order. The future of my vindication, if I have other surgeries planned besides my face and neck lift. Um, it's actually a face, neck lift, deep plane with rejuvenation. If you want to get technical, do I know what rejuvenation means? No. Uh, I hope it's something that is like very aggressive because I don't believe that like all these little cupping things and shit work. Like I need a scar. You need to like chat me open, butcher me. I'm like, it's okay. You could leave a scar. There could just be a scar. We're cool with that. It's like our thing. Expensive scars. Hashtag. But so that's going down on the 21st of July. And then uh, after that, within a year after that, I am going to get more booty. But it's going to be another expensive ass scar because if you guys know my journey I was a really big girl and so I do have skin on my back I usually don't talk about this because it really gives people the opportunity to attack you when you tell all your flaws so I don't recommend people who are still really sensitive about what people have to say talk about this but being that there is still skin in my back, I am getting a bra line back tuck it's the only way they can really do it unless anyone else knows of any other way I'm gonna have a scar across my back, underneath my bra strap. I am also not losing weight because I'm gonna get a Brazilian butt lift with that. I don't know if that's gonna have to be done in two different sessions because obviously I'm as big as you can go kind of person. So I don't know if the weight of the Brazilian butt lift would, you know, make my back tuck scat, pack tuck sag, but we're gonna find out. Um, the plastic surgeon I'm going to for my neck, they actually have a weight loss specialist doctor, so I probably will get a consultation in while I'm there, but I'm kind of leaning to going to a girl just because um, maybe Dr. Roxy, because no one knows a female's body, like a female knows their body, and one day, you know, I do want to wear a wedding dress and stuff, and so I do want that scar to be, like, as minimal as possible, but... Don't get me wrong. Give me as much scar as I need for the best results. Um, so that's going to be after that. I really, I can tell you pretty much how I'm going to go out of this bimbification thing because I have a pretty much plan in my head. I was very frantic for a while, but, you know, I really had to take the time. I am in my 30s. I'm 31 now. I didn't know if I was going to tell people I was in my 30s, and I was like, fuck it. Another thing for me to bitch about, run it. So, you know, I didn't know if I was going to have children or not, and I strongly suggest before you start your boomification journey, depending on your age, that you really take time to think about that, because part of me kind of wishes I would have had children, like, before, but I'm going to finish my body, which is my back Brazilian butt lift. Um, I'm going to get my scar revision probably done on my stomach. I do need another session. Well, it's camouflage tattooing, technically. I'm getting veneers. Um, I'm probably going to get another rhinoplasty, but I'm going to get it done in Turkey. So after probation, I think uh, I'm going to get my eyes widened. Brandy Bay, okay. Um, I think that's it, and I think I'm going to have a baby. And then what we're going to do after I have a baby, I'm probably going to have two. Um, one's got to be a girl because I want to be a beauty pageant mom. I think that's my calling if I have children is to be a beauty pageant mom. I was talking to this about 
was talking about this with Annie and I was like can you imagine she was like yes I was like iconic but so I do want to have one girl I'm figuring you know the man's probably gonna want a boy so I'll probably pop out too pretty quick and then of course I'll be a bimbo still but you know being a mom probably come first um I'm excited for that journey but we had a couple years to like wrap this up and not really wrap it up but just like open a new chapter i'm gonna have some really amazing non-judgmental kids is what i can say because before they go to school i'm gonna be like let's just look at mom's nudes come on over yonder we're just gonna look at them get it out of the way <laughs> no no one's gonna be able to tell my kids children well children i was going to school to be a teacher and they're like kid that's supposed to be called children and that stuck with me oh yeah yes um that's always been before I found Bimbification, that was always my biggest um, drive kind of in life. I didn't have the best childhood growing up, so it was re really important to me to learn from my parents' mistakes. They were teenagers and not repeat them. And I do believe that I am, you know, of the age and stuff. I'll probably do that around 33. So in the next two years, we're going to wrap shit up. We're going out with a bang. I got a lot of shit I need to do. Um... But yes, that is probably going to happen. And even if I don't, I don't know, if I don't have a husband, I don't know. See, if I don't have a husband, I don't know what we wouldn't do. But let's just say I do have a husband then for sure. So then after I have kids, this is going to be my prenup. We'll live on the streets with children, but you fix my body is going to be the prenup. Yes, I mean, I'm always going to be a bimbo, and I'm always going to, you know, be CMA Sprinkles, and they're going to be very familiar with that, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I'm going to really have to work on not looking in the mirror and having my daughter see me, like, put myself down, because I know how, like, I'm not going to cry, <laughs> I know how that can, like, really affect a young girl and their psyche and all that. Also, I'm going to get, you know, my bimbo mom bad, like I was just saying. My prenup is going to be we'll live on truth with your children, but you do fix my body. Because at the end of the day, I am, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars invested into this. I don't have a house. I don't have, like, a luxury car. I have this body. And so for me, it's a bigger deal. And being that I started my journey kind of late in life, I always say that my bimbo age is six. Because I've been in bimbification for six years. But my human age is 31 <laughs> right uh probably the link in my bio but um so I'm really gonna have to work on you know what I say to myself in the mirror in that relationship but you know people go to therapy about that all that I know I know I wish I was rich too because I would have like a lot more stuff done trust me so what I'll probably do is I'll have to get a buy me makeover. I figure after the two, I was gonna get a surrogate because obviously it'd probably be cheaper at this point. But if you guys don't know, I do have a cat, um, Booger Sugar, real name Booger Valentine, but uh, and I can tell by the relationship with me and my cat that I'm gonna have to like bake that baby because I'm gonna need to love it because like I've had to like leave my apartment because I I don't think that killing cats is allowed and you know frowned on and doesn't matter how hot you are if you're in prison so I've walked out before and so I was like let me just bake this baby also pregnant like pregnancy content psh, I always tell these bitches I'm like please let me sell your content I'll give you like 50% please so um that'll be something but then you'll probably see me more behind. I really want to be kind of behind the camera. That's why I am learning editing. I'm learning, you know, everything from lighting to cameras to just all of it because I really want to give back the experience I've had to other people. And if you think about it, there's jobs right now that we don't even have names for because I was on OnlyFans, you know, I hope we're allowed to say that, five years ago or whatever. But, you know, a lot of people weren't on that site <laughs> five years ago. I just went over that whole situation. 
But to sum it up, up next is my face neck uh, rejuvenation and then I'm reconstructing my whole back from um, being overweight. I'm getting back to with a Brazilian butt lift. Like I said, don't know if I'm gonna have to do that in two sessions because uh, the weight of the Brazilian butt lift, but we will see. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have babies and then I'm gonna go redo the whole thing, get my mom bad. And my mom bad, I'm gonna get like the feel good kind titties, like those silicone ones. Feel good kind, like smushy. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. I'll probably just get like 800 cc's. The biggest ones you can get, feel good kind, like to here, bolt ends, you know, I'll have to get an extreme lift. But I'm not someone who has a great back to begin with, being I had spinal surgery. So this maybe was. I don't say I want to regret it. If you guys remember, I was in a really abusive relationship with a lawyer and I thought it was going to be a trophy lift. So I spent all my um, last week money on plastic surgery pretty much. And so I thought that I was going to have a different life than what I did. But I'm so thankful that things happened the way that they did. I can say that now, honestly. Don't even get me started. Okay, there used to be... Um, a website called myfreeimplants.com and <laughs> your girl was you know out there I was pushing carts to get a boob job okay and that's why like before I gave up on TikTok I was making it my life mission to let people not ruin what boob notification is because at the end of the day for me it is about effort it is about you know have Half of the week I am Samantha, I work a minimum wage job, I absolutely love what I do, it's, you know, my fat girl heart, I always try to remain really humble and keep intact with that, but, the bimbo brain, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, so anyways, I was on this website, and I was pushing cards, and like, I wanted a boob job, I was going to college to be um, a special education teacher, had my first degree, I was working on my second one, and I got ran over, I've told this story a million times, but, um... That's actually going to be the next question I get into about the vilification thing. But, so what had happened was I was on this site, it was called My Free Implants, and I had a good $2,500-ish amount. And what they do, I think Allegra Cole was like trying to start this kind of thing. It's like you got money towards implants and then it went to a plastic surgeon. It's kind of like the O fans for bimbos, before bimbos even really had a name. So I... Uh, it had like pretty large amount of money for me and then they closed the site down and I lost all my money and I never really fought it but I was like can you imagine because you can get boobs my first boob gem not expensive because the first set of boobs if you really are someone who wants like big implants get the like even if you do want silicone get the cheapest ones you know you're gonna get well you know get saline because you know you're going to get bigger. So those are just like a stepping zone if you're not going to get um, expanders. Expanders, I hear, are like more prone to popping, kind of. I might get those um, maybe when I get my mom bad. I don't know. Because I don't really know if 800 is going to be enough for me. But I think with a lift, like I love my 800cc implants. But I didn't have a lift with them. I want some like bolt-ons. But that's funny that you said that because... I wanted to be a bimbo way back when, before being a bimbo was cool, and you know, my family was like, if you graduate college, we'll get you like whatever brand new car you want, and I was like, I want titties! Tell me you're gonna give me some titties to see what happens. <laughs> now look, here we are. But it's so cool that like, this turned out to be my life, I can't imagine looking back and telling 11 year old me that you know it was constantly picked on and just like rocks were thrown at me I was the poor kid where I grew up I didn't get to wear amber hot man fish I didn't fit in it like I wish I could go back and tell her like chill stop wishing for boobs on 11 11 every wish you make be careful what you wish for because you're gonna play dress up for the rest of your life like I would I got like suspended for saying that I wanted to be like a stripper when I grew up because as soon as I saw, you know, what is that movie? Striptease? No, I can't think of it. The one with, like, the dark-haired lady. Is it Striptease? Like, I was like, if I ever got hot enough to do that. That's why when I was a stripper, I loved stage. I was like, they keep letting me on here. 
I don't know how, but it's a fucking miracle. Like, I love being a stripper, but I only love being on stage. Okay, so anyways, when you're talking about the government paying for it, the second question I got asked, I had two, was if it was something along the lines of if I were to start, like, if I was starting a new world and I could make three laws, what would they be? And I'm going to leave uh, the BNWO out of this because y'all already know. But my three, like, laws, if I was the queen, well, Brittany would be free, first of all. That's a whole other story. But three laws would be, what were they? One, um, I would really, like, discriminate against discrimination, bullying. Like, there would be a lot of jail misery for people that are bullies you know sex workers trans rainbow community weight just all of that like big reason why i wanted to be a teacher was because i really wanted to you know make kids not go through what i went through and really like be someone that they could maybe connect with and all that so that would be one there'd be no fucking bullying or you know, we're not going to hate SWs in my, not BMW. I keep on want to say BMWO when I say this because, uh, yeah, it's usually where I go with that. Number two, um, you know, I'm not a socialist and uh, Bernie Sanders didn't have like a lot of great points, but he had a few. And one of the things that really stuck with me is the, um, we got to have a living wage. Because someone works, you know, I used to work at Sam's Club. Just because someone works a job like that, it doesn't mean that, like, they don't matter. Someone like me now, I couldn't work that job because my back. Like, I'm so grateful for those people because that's something I can't do. And it's ridiculous that we don't have a living wage to let people survive. It's just, it has to be adjusted to the person in their, like, situation, really. So that would be it, but along with that, where I was going with the bimification, uh, I guess this could be number three, healthcare. I think for people, you know, that do work 40 hours a week and they have proof of it and all that, they should definitely get free healthcare. And of course, I think that if you work in your minimum wage job, or, you know, your square job, contributing society, not living off, you know, other people, then hell yeah, plastic surgery is included because you deserve that shit, period. So that's where I was getting to on that. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're really, um, it's like a micro or macro level on that. You're really, in my point of view, <laughs> I'm going to say yeah, because, you know, when I have to pay rent, I'm like, damn, like, that's lip injections. <laughs> like, yeah, for me, yeah, that would be awesome. But, you know, you got to have the basic, fun like, you got to have housing, you got to have water and shit like that. But, yeah, and I think, like, if you're in to be on the vacation, you should definitely get a bonus. Where's my sucker? Oh, my God, shut the, oh, holy hell. Y'all caught me slipping. It's in the closet. But for show. Sure. So that's three on that. I think I only got two questions, but if you guys have any more, say them now or forever hold your peace. I'm having an issue with my hair because I'm trying this new way, this new technique. And, you know, my hair type is different from Annie's. And so I have that white girl hair and it was like sliding out and she's on vacation until like next week. So I have to wait. So I am like, he caught me slipping for a second on that. But I hate doing my hair. I'll do makeup all day, but when it's time to do my hair, I'm like, fuck this. Number one, just not into it. Number two, it hurts my back. But yeah. For people, that's what we have on here. Well, I guess no more questions. I'm in. I'm out. I think I'm going to go make some tacos. Mm. Everyone's like, you're fat. I'm like, trust me. I'm paying $20,000 for my American. I wish I could go to plastic surgery, but I'm on parole. <laughs> About to be on probation. So, you know, I had to stay in the United States, which scares me because everyone's getting there 
$4,000 fucking facelifts in Turkey. And, like, they really do have a style of plastic surgery, I feel. And I'm like, let's see what we're going to get for, you know, 20000 in America. So I'm going to vlog all that because I am thinking about how I'm going to switch over to the mainstream for, you know, life down the road. I am thinking about rebranding and how I'm going to become how sprinkles gonna fit in the mainstream because you know the ice cream issue not everyone likes sprinkles on their ice cream but they finna get some am i still rocking in michigan i had to rock it in michigan because i'm about to be on probation i was ready to be the fuck out and i said in a year i'm gonna be the fuck out and then i realized uh that i had eight warrants out for my arrest well i had eight felonies i was facing eight felonies i go to court so well i know what's gonna happen but i paid a lot of money I'm talking like 15 G's for my lawyer, okay? That's a whole, that's probably my back. So trust me, and one of my things, I was actually playing with my lawyer money and I wanted to cry. But trust me when I say, lesson learned, I will go to the doctor and get a script, okay? Say less. I just don't like going to the doctor. And like, they were my script. It's just like, the how am I supposed to know that prescriptions expire being a dumb bitch is exhausting but because I got caught twice the first time like I shouldn't really oh, fuck okay first time when I got caught I was um <laughs> I was testing out um white privilege for some of my black friends I'm just saying and white privilege I don't suggest maybe like playing that card because I definitely got checked and, you know, I had a small purse, so I just, like, loaded all my prescriptions in one bottle and I didn't think about it because we were drunk. So, whatever, took me to jail. That was great. People were like, sprinkles, because I'm very well known in this little state of Michigan. But anyways, so what had happened is they kind of realized I was a thing, I think, and they were like, we will let you out if you go, because I was a stripper at the time. So I was a stripper and I was, you know, look the way I do. And they're like, if you bust X amount of people, I think it was something ridiculous, like eight or five or some crazy shit. Um, if you tell us the people, you'll get out of this. And when you're in jail and you're in that situation, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was hysterical. Doesn't matter how hot you are if you're in jail, prison. I say that all the time. So I was like, yeah, not thinking about it. Well, I'm dumb bitch. And my like last brain cell is like barely hanging on. I was like, I can't go do this. Like, I can't go. Number one, I'm not a snitch. I'm not going to do that to my people. Not even my people. I had to go like find them in the middle of Detroit. Motherfucking, can you imagine me in the middle of Detroit trying to like tell on people being a snitch? I was like, this is not going to work. So, I don't know why I thought this in my last brain cell. So, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought that since they hadn't contacted me, they had dropped it because one time I stole something when I was like 13 and they said that I was going to get in trouble or something, but I think that they realized I was real sorry and so I never got in trouble. So, I think it was like, I thought it was like that, but it doesn't work like that apparently with felonies. So... I uh, found out the hard way that I had that going on when I got pulled over for a headlight being out, actually. I was on the way to, um, if you remember my lesbians, the trailer I used to live in, I was on the way there to pick up shoes that got delivered there, and um, my headlight was out, and I got pulled over, and same thing. I was like, you know, I'm so honest. I was like, oh. What you're searching for right in the second pocket over there. Went to jail again. Same shit. Um, so that brought me up to like eight, whatever their special ways of saying shit is. And so then it's all a money thing. And now I pretty much went to my doctors and I have all the scripts. So it's really dumb. It's a really fucking dumb situation. When I got in trouble the first time, I was... Uh, getting out of that abusive relationship my I was kind of living out of a storage unit and you know at my lesbians love them their house trailer and so I found these pills and I was like oh these are I didn't think twice because they'd been such part of my life for so long 
And so it's just, what a slut. Oh my God, it's my favorite person in the world. And he, and he was like, we got pulled over and I was like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> Tell my followers to write me. We've been to run my um, O fans from a jail cell. Like, it's going to be nice to not live in fear all the time because we could really turn this into the Annie show and talk about how much I love Annie, though, if y'all wanted to do that because I'm down with that as well. But, um, yeah, and what were you saying about 16 accounts? Okay, there's no way in hell. Do you guys know that, like, with 5G now, they want to put out drones that scan your face and tell you everything that happens in your life? Like, there's no way in hell with the technology that we have, they can't link, oh, she's a sex worker and have face recognition and you're put on, you know, some algorithm. I know for a fact, because I know people that work in the field, my father, you know, does, and it's a thing. They're not going to tell you about it, but of course they're going to find me. They take you in a photo without, you know, even consent sometimes. So it's like, of course, they know who I am. I'm not saying the world is against me. This time they caught me slipping because I did fuck up this time. My only fan stand. Your only fan stand. Now everyone loves fucking Annie. Like I had to take a seat because the whole world loves Annie, and like girls love Annie. If girls love you, like that's a real bad B. So, anyways, they definitely. But what I was doing is I work sixteen-hour shifts for half of the week, so I was posting what I thought was to my Snapchat, but. Obviously, I've grown with this algorithm and I don't suggest doing things like putting <laughs> I love you, Annie. I'm about to get off too in a minute once I finish this, but I don't suggest doing things like putting emojis or like scribbling out your nipples if you're not, you know, got a million followers and verified because I can tell you back when I had my old account, had like 90,000 plus followers, that was a thing. It definitely was because I can see in my archives what I posted on Instagram and that was definitely a thing. So I did that and I thought I was posting it to Snapchat. So I was just looking back at my journey and I kind of just like scribbled out my nipples. And when I scribbled out my nipples, I posted it on accident to Instagram and that was my last strike. But I really wish I would have counted how many there is because I asked like how many is it and no one could really give me an answer so that sucks and now they're like being weird with me like you know how it's if you've ever had your account be like suspicious shit going on verify your number like I'll try to verify it and it won't send me the text for one of my backups and all that and I'm like this is the last time I'm doing this I will be so careful on this uh, damn platform from now on. If you're following my backup, that's going to be pretty much my Will It Pass page. This will be my main. So make sure you continue following that. Probably won't be around forever, but we'll have a fucking blast on that bitch. I hope I can swear on this platform, actually. You never know. But, yeah, that's my rant about why I've had 16 accounts. And I can tell you that I've seen this... Um, Instagram algorithm changed so much and here we are 16 accounts later and I can tell you it's definitely not for you if you're not giving them money they're not it's harder and harder to grow an audience I don't even know if I would be Sammy Sprinkles and who I was back then in their algorithm today because it's a whole different game back in the day when you know I on old Instagram when I was a thing um 90,000 followers then because the platform was so much smaller would be the equivalent of having like a huge following now but back then it wasn't as popular and now it's even more popular and it's all about money so unless you're you know promoting or buying all this it's harder and I've invested in this a lot through these accounts and every time I get deleted I'm like wow that's like a lot of money I keep losing out on so at the end of the day when I look back and I look at Sammy Sprinkles and her bimification career, I'm kind of like wrapping up this chapter and I'm like, what do I want to see? And it's not going to really matter if I had 500 million followers, although it is very important for business if you are someone who really depends, you know, on internet money. I'm lucky now where this is kind of like a hobby and I actually do better at it because I don't feel so much pressure. At this Okay, it's like, I, I, kept, I kept on saying that 
Twitter needs to get a baby face filter and shut this app down because all the Lincoln bio girls would definitely move over to Twitter. But I need to stop calling out Instagram. I love you, Instagram. You're my favorite, okay? Don't delete me out. Look, you're... All I'm saying is you can tell it's ran by WB. I'm not going to go that route. <laughs> but big WB energy. Yeah, like the... um. TV channel I, when I talk with that I need my sucker but um I keep hoping that the Twitter gets a damn baby face filter and all these bitches we can move on over to Twitter and it'd be the new thing there's something to, I really try it like I like Twitter don't get me wrong I have such supportive people on there and I've only been deleted once okay get it but I got deleted, by the way, because my banner is what it came down to. But, you know, I get it. Some shit you can't do because not all people are 18 when they view you. But I am so ready, like, for this to be not... I love Instagram, though, for some reason. Like, I was trying to get into Twitter. And there's just something, like, more personable about it. I don't know. We need like a Twitter XXX, a Twitter After Dark, something though that is not like this. <laughs> oh, you want a fetish for free? Oh, I can't give you a, I mean, I am a walking fetish, but I can't give you a fetish for free. Uh, it's funny how I can turn that on and off. Um, the baby bimbos, you know, they don't listen to me, but <laughs> a lot of them, some of them do, and I talk a lot about how important like character development is the ones that join my link in my bio i really do take the time and try to like work with them because it's so important to have your own character development personality persona your sprinkles whatever it may be uh because i can sense when people are really it's a hard line because okay we're influencers i get that and we influence people and so i have to take it with like you know spoon of sprinkles whatever the fuck but like you can't copy someone's whole persona number one people that are really in this industry probably gonna call you out on it uh number two you're gonna piss that you know i invented the word og bimbo i'm gonna just say it like y'all think that these girls out here is out here saying og like my little ghetto ass i really invented that word but I don't get credit is where my problem is. Like, okay, I influence you. Credit. Influenced by. I have a lot of people who are really big in this community and they're in my DM. Where did you get this outfit? Where did you blah, 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 blah. But they never, like, want to share me. They never, like, it's just, why do I have to tell you now? I don't care if you have 500 million followers block. What the fuck good are you doing me? So if we're getting free game and it's like I'm such a small account all the time because I keep getting deleted that I just see people who actually listen to me and then my ideas blow up because they have the following and I'm like let me just get some weed because I'm sure you guys can imagine my fucking ugh Annie's another one Annie gets copied all the time just like we were talking about that um pink car shoe she's an affiliate with Fashion Nova or was is was she needs to be the fucking creative director of the world. But anyways, so we did that pink car shoe and um, she did that pink car shoe. All I did was look at her like I was going to kill her the whole time. <laughs> but they for sure saw that being that they're an affiliate. I'll get to that. Um, being she's an affiliate, they obviously saw that. And it's just like, at first, you know, I'm tripping. But then it's like down to the scrunchie, down to the white bucket, down to the fucking bikini. And I'm like, we sound crazy as hell, though, because we'd be walking around like the whole world copying us. And, you know, I don't know. Think what you want. But I think so. She thinks so. It must be. If you thought about taking your degree and went to teach and do bimification, other girls, and giving classes. Well, I'm never going to be able to, well, I could finish my degree, I guess, if I put my last brain cell into it. This is my board over here that, I need 18, okay, by the way, I know I haven't been on webcam, but I am going to go back on webcam, being that my stay is going to be like $1,000 a night. So, if you guys have 18 ideas, I was going to put 18 ways to kill a WB, 
But, you know, I'm popular opinion, so we're not going to do that. But I need 18 uh, spot holders or, like, things on here. So, if you're watching this, if I leave it in my story, let me know what you would like or what you think is a good idea to put on here. So, uh, obviously, I'm not going to go back to school. That would be dumb. And school wasn't easy for me. College was not easy for me by any means. I worked very hard in college. I um, actually had a full scholarship, but I was in tutoring, especially in math. I was above in, in um, English, but like my math, it took me three times to pass basic college math and school I went to, that was like the max number of times you could take a class. So very hard time with math. But obviously, it would make no sense for me to go back to school, being that, like I was saying earlier, when I look back on Sammy Sprinkles, like, I want, like, scores to pop up. Like, after I'm finished with my face, I probably will go do scores. I regret not doing that. And I talk about this a lot, too. People are always like, how much money do you make from this? And I'm like, there's a lot of things that I'm like, money, trick, 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 money. But, like, this is not one of them. I see these things as... Something that outlives you, something in a million years when I'm nothing but, you know, silicone. Like, when you type in Sammy Sprinkles to whatever the fuck they use then, like, this is going to pop up. And that's something worth more than money for me. So I would pay scores. So, like, I'd be the one paying them. It's not about that. Mainstream, like, P-A-R-O-N-W-Y. Like, if I got an opportunity to maybe do, like, a big enough one, I would honestly like to do one in fetish. I am really actually thinking about um, really rebranding more into, like, the fetish a lot more. You know, I have to work on that, though. I really look up to, like, Violet Doll. She's from Michigan. I'm like, please, let's be friends. You can kill me you could walk me around like a dog okay <laughs> please let's be friends but i'm thinking about going that direction um but if the opportunity came where i ever worked with a big enough company it's not about how much money it would be for me it would be that i was hot enough to do it at this time and that in a million years or a hundred years they're gonna look back and see this and this is gonna be my foot stamp that i left behind that i did this bimbification journey when i fix my back and everything is done i'm gonna live my best bimbo plastic life for a year I want to go around travel. I want to meet some of you, of course. I want to go across the pond for sure. Um, I think the UK has some amazing content creators, bimbos, all that. So I'm looking forward to that. But being hot enough to do it for that big of a company, I think, is just like such an honor. It's one of the few things in life that is not about money to me. Well, a lot of things are starting to become less about money for me. A lot of people were like, I don't want to pay you you know whatever amount you put in the bio and i'm like okay can you support me in free ways could you like go like my ph video so that maybe i could like get monetized by them could you just go hit like and it's just people are just gonna do what they want to do but um i do hope that you know when i have babies and stuff and i am more so working from home that i will be behind the scenes in coaching mentoring a baby bimbo my little i'm like a little mini <laughs> it's gonna be fun so yes i do hope to do that um the time comes i hope that there's one that like really sticks out because i'm be like i'm adopting you too just by your like plastic surgery it'd actually be a great deal like you got to be the bimbo and the nanny and i will buy you plastic surgery and whatever i think it's a great deal um yeah, I don't know. I really would like to shoot with Amber May. Uh, she had a good personality, and that gets really far with me. Alicia's awesome. Cool. Love her. Great bimbo. Um, I just like the people that have supported me, and, you know, continuously are, like, following, liking, even sharing, despite if they had 40 million followers or, like, 20. Um... Those are the people I want to work with. I want to work with people because I know we're going to have fun. Like, we were talking about it, me and Amber, and probably that's when I said I wanted to go across the pond. There's a lot of them. She's like, 
big reason there's also some other people i'd like to meet um but yeah i know that we would have fun because of our personality because like i'm really scared of my titties hold on y'all i don't want to ruin the sammy sprinkle show before it comes a thing i was gonna wear a sweater and i was like no this is a safe bet so people not gonna remember how they make you make them like they're not gonna remember what cc's my implants are they're not going to remember how many inches my hair is. They're going to be like, oh yeah, she was half with big titties and she had this funny personality. She made me laugh. She made me feel good. I want to work with people who have made me feel good even when I wasn't who I, like Sammy Sprinkles you see today. Because this has been a really long journey and I've seen people's colors throughout it a lot, especially in this industry. And I've seen newcomers and some of them are like super respectful. Like they really think I'm a thing. Like, I mean, I am a thing, but <laughs> I'm like, okay. And, um, it's so cute. But I want to work with those people more so than just someone because they have a million followers, which good for them. Might be great people. I don't know. They, we haven't taken time to get on that level to know each other. But yeah, I'd like to work with funny people. Me and Amber May for sure probably wouldn't get anything done because we'd be drunk. And so we probably have to hire someone. We were talking about that. But yeah, like I was talking about my first live. Um, we are trying to get our marijuana brand on a cruise line. <sighs> Being we're decriminalizing it. So I'd like to do something with that. I don't want to speak too much on my ideas because y'all know I'm like, I'm getting copied. Someone's watching me. I have 84 followers, but someone's fucking copying me. And it do be happening. Y'all see it, because I'm a little account, and they're like, ha ha, we'll steal this bitch's ideas, and no one's gonna know. Looks are important to you, I think. Like, looks are important to me, obviously. I can't sit here and tell you, I'm not gonna lie to you, ever. Uh, I just started getting back on my medicine, Wellbutrin, for depression. But there's no way in hell... Anyone can tell me that I'm the same level of depressed now that I was when I was 300 pounds. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. And when I think about it in that way, I just am like, wow. Wow. You know? So, yes, looks are important to you, I feel like. And I always had a funny personality. But I would never put that out there being the way that I looked and another part of it is just being like self-aware there's such a power in being 30 for a woman like I was saying um oh I love Allegra yes Allegra Cole yes 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 she's one yes um and she, we, I never talked to her or anything but just like her vibe like she's laughing she's giggly at her husband they're so cute a million times yes but I don't even remember what I was saying about, oh, being 30 and self-aware. I struggled with I was going to be 24 forever. And then I was like, you know, is you old or are you broke and don't have money for plastic surgery? I could be like Joan Rivers. Psh, I'm taking me out like Joan Rivers. But I was like, I'm a bitch about everything I can bitch about. And so I'm like, add it to the list. I'm 30. So I surprisingly decided to go that way. But you took me off of, my, you know, I'm struggling with this last brain cell. And you said Allegra Cole. And I was like, titties. And then I'm like, what are we talking about? So, you know, I was having a sprinkles moment. It means happy and Italian. That's so cute. I never knew that. Who else would I like to work with? Um, I really do plan on going to AVN. So I'm so excited. I want to tell you guys what I'm going to do there. But... Then everyone, you know, I think everyone's going to be doing it. Uh, you guys should really go check out my PH, though, and follow that. New goal, I want to get monetized by PH by doing the weirdest, uh, known for doing the weirdest hot girl shit, okay? Sammy Sprinkles. I can see it now. I'm Italian, and I didn't know that other girl meant that. We actually have one of my childhood friends in here. What's up? Angelique, fucking another hilarious human. Oh my god, she would make me crack up in a really dark childhood. She was truly a sprinkle in my life. Who else? I don't know. Who else do you guys, who do I think of? Like, psh, 
Some people, like, if you put me next to Candy Charms, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd just be like, what's even happening? Like, pfft. she's not really a collaborer, though. But, oh, my God, Candy Charms, how iconic, right? I like to work with, um, some trans people, really. It's, uh, Happy Pride Month. I call you guys the rainbow community, but rainbows and sprinkles... We're like white on glue, okay? Um, I feel like in my younger years, in my younger bimbo years, bimbo age is six, remember, that I got the most support from the rainbow community because once upon a time, when I would go out, I would charge a dollar a picture. Okay, here's the thing. When you get to be at a certain level in your vivification and on top of it, you live in a small place like Metro Detroit, Michigan, you're going to become known. Okay? You're going to become a known thing. So, if I go out, you have to make a conscious decision when you go out. When I go out, I'm like, am I going to work this event and have everyone come up to me and I'm sprinkling them and I'm entertaining? Or do I want to, like, make memories with the people I'm with? Um, I straight up, if I want to go that route, I'd wear, like, I don't want people to notice me. I want to be in the moment. So, I didn't get that at first. It's one of the things that I did have a really great, like, bimbo. I'm not gonna, like, not coach, like, mentor, kind of. Lord, if he ever teaches someone else, my whole plastic soul is gonna break. His, like, main objective right now is, like, we're getting you into the industry, bitch. <laughs> So, uh, shout out to him. But he was trying to tell me, because I was in Vegas, and these two photographers were just like, I was, bimbo age was like two. <laughs> and it reflected in this, because, um, okay, I gotta stop, like, looking at your shit. But I sat there and bullshitted with these two guys who said they were photographers, two Indian guys. And I'm like, yeah, 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 because, like, I had never, I had been to Vegas with my dad, my father a lot, but I had never been, you know, being sa the beginning of Sammy Sprinkles. I didn't have my titties yet. I think I just got my butt done. Yeah, I just got my butt done, and it was just, like, crazy. And so I bullshitted the whole time, like, hours with them. And he was like, why are you doing that? You know, that was whatever. You got to, like, learn to kind of pick where you're gonna do you want to work this event kind of situation that kind of like it didn't register until about age five on my vivification and I was like oh like if I go out like full sprinkles like I'm working this and I'm not gonna be able to talk to my friends that much because I'm gonna be taking pictures and I'm like wanna get sprinkled and Mickey Mouse and all of that so then that goes back to when I was at Pride I, like I said, I used to charge a dollar picture, and people would give me a hard time about it. But, you know, back then, I really needed the money. Like, when I was on Bash, I was so poor. You guys have no idea, but the vacation always came first to me. So, we were at Pride, and people were like, a dollar? Like, that's an insult. Like, they're just giving me 20s and 5s, and you wouldn't think that, because, like, most of them probably didn't even want to, you know, do things to me. <laughs> so... They just get it. Vivification and, you know, drag and it's like a cousin of it, kind of. And they just get the effort, I think. They get the amount of work and dedication that goes into it. Whereas maybe people just look at me and think, I don't know. She's got, you know, a rich husband or something doing this. I don't know how they think I'm like this, but they don't get that. If you weren't born crazy rich or if you're not willing to sell your soul in whatever way you think selling your soul is bad for, like, you're not making the kind of money people think you are. So they are like, yeah, bitch. Do you still get a match on that? I still go all the time I've seen you. Is it even open? I don't really leave my house anymore. I will go to Manjan Lao. Oh, you'll see me there. I'm not gonna talk about it. You'll see me, probably after my face. I'll probably go. Actually, I talked about Annie. Yeah, I'll go. You'll see me. Probably not touching my face heels, though. Um, gotta hustle. That's the other thing. I did horrible in a strip club. I did horrible in a strip club. Like, it was a good workout. 
and you know i kind of cut even if i had a lucky day but it cost me money to be in a strip club that being said like the idea of me going clubbing or the idea of me going to be a stripper for a night being a stripper for a night 100 percent. that sounds like a more great idea to me but being i'm in a little place like detroit michigan metro detroit michigan we're not exactly a place where you're gonna come and just like everyone's throwing stage money this isn't miami and i was you know so sensitive that I didn't work at the biggest one either. And a lot of the money in these strip clubs are not made on stage is all I'm gonna say. And for me, I never expected to make a lot of money. I thought that I could make $100 a night after tips and everything, I'd walk home with $100. And that was a good night for me, Real, realistic expectations. But I never did good. I usually didn't make the $100 a night, whatever. I wasn't self-aware yet. I was bimbo aged. Two, I started when I, yeah, two. So, you know, a two-year-old, yeah, I think, toddler, not even in kindergarten yet. So, um, the high school boys. So, uh, didn't do well in there. And being in a place like Michigan, there's not a lot of money. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Riley Reed said in one of her, oh my God, her wedding, but my last brain's up. I digress. She said in an interview, I was listening to her on a podcast, that when she was in a strip club, she felt like a dolphin among sharks. And, you know, that's in that last brain cell somewhere because I remember it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, yeah. I really, you know, was the fat girl growing up, blah, 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 blah. And so I, I still, I don't, now I could probably hustle. I could go to a strip club and I'm self-aware of my character development, um, all that I could hustle but back then I was really scared of like rejection um, people in this state obviously really intimidated by me and you gotta remember I'm 5'8 so in stripper heels I'm super tall the few people that did come in to see me they wouldn't tell me just cuz people really like I don't know think that strippers care which I kind of did I really have always like been someone to really get to know my fans but you know back then there wasn't like link and bio girls. I was kind of the first one. So when I was in the club, like I always tell you guys, I know it's $11, but you can see posts from when I was a dancer because I was already running my stuff. I mean, I've seen the platform definitely progress throughout the years, but like that's what I was doing while I was always in the mirror was because of that, but I didn't do well. And so for me, I was just doing stuff that already, like, I liked being online. I'm an only child. In person, I get kind of awkward. But put me in front of it, like, put me in front of this fucking device right here, this mechanism. Got you. Sprinkles all day. In person, I'm in a lot of pain, number one. I'm always in an extreme amount of pain. Like, it, I don't wish the pain on anyone, but I wish y'all knew, like, how much it is to walk, uh without pain is a blessing to walk like you're not in pain is a fucking skill and i mean that if you guys like i gotta get an mri of my upper body my neck right spinal surgery and i haven't done it because i'm scared last time i got my spinal surgery they said i needed three more but one was like i had to have it and so at this point in my life I'm, it doesn't matter what they say i'm not gonna have it i went to one doctor and like I was talking earlier about this court case and stuff. I really had fear of doctors. I don't like them. And he was very judgmental against me. He told me to get my implants removed. Is what he told me, actually. And so he told me to get my implants removed and to take some leave. And I lost my shit. I was like, you're right. Fuck these expensive implants. And all I need is a leave for my um dislocated shoulder and whatever. But... They did get the wrong part of my back x-rayed. I went to a new doctor and I was like, my spinal surgery was actually neck surgery between three and four. I don't know why she would scan my lower back, but that's what she chose. And so I do have to go back and get my shoulder done. But I'm scared because that doctor now. And I'm like, okay, Brandy Bay is gonna be for real <laughs> if I don't get it together. Do you guys want to know what I found out about Brandy Bay that one night? She, I was deep. Bitch, I was deep. I was like, fuck, where's Waldo? Fuck that shit. Where the fuck? This is like, I don't know how many wonders we have in this world. More than I had brain cells. But I think there's like seven or eight. Brandy Bay is like right there in bimbo world. Like We wanted to know what happened to Candy Charms. Baby. Bam. Brandy Bay. 
greatest wonder. So, apparently, what I hear, number one, join your OnlyFans. Number two, don't know if you want to do that unless, like, you're a Brandy Bay fan. Like, if you're a Bayaholic, go for it. $20 a month, you're going to get just, like, a lot of one-second videos, all that. It's the only platform she's active on. She doesn't have any other platforms. I've blocked from everyone because you know me. I'm like, this ain't real. This is as real as my titties, bitch. But it's lying to you. And I've been telling y'all that. And you can fucking block me, delete me off Twitter, whatever. So, that being said, that's happening. I heard that a lot of people don't know this. I'm sorry, real fast. I see Brandy Bay and fuck around with the guns because she pulled the gun out on someone. Look it up. In a porn shoe. And she kind of got blacklisted. Feel you, Instagram, same boat. But apparently she's a BITC agent. I'm like, what? She's a queen, first of all, okay? So apparently, number one, she's really hard to work with. Like, she can be whatever the fuck she wants. Get that ass on the camera. Give a fuck. You better, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, number one, she there's like, I don't remember how many agencies, big ones, but she burned through like three because she's just such a bitch. <laughs> And then um, uh, some companies kind of won't really book her because you got to remember at the end of the day, in the beginning of this, I started this like vimification thing before it really had a name. Um, I started off because I was into fetish. Like I started this, like this has always been a fetish for me. This has always been, vimification is a fetish in my opinion. And I'll say that to the day I die. But looking at her, and the, like if you've seen her now, I can't, I, I like stayed up all night literally thinking about this. I was like, how am I going to call myself a bimbo and say that I like her better with smaller implants? I was like, I was like trying to like talk myself out of it, but wholeheartedly, she's a fucking legend. Okay. She looks amazing now. Fucking fantastic ass. It's huge. I love like Brandy Bay, like 2018, like right before she retired when she was like, she was like compact and bubbly and like, you know, I learned how to twerk from Brandy Bay. I had actually never seen her porno. <laughs> I was like, this is a nasty bitch. I was like, what? I didn't even realize, and then I ended up getting into the QoS stuff. I was like, what? She doesn't just twerk. I was shook. But I liked her 2018, and I'm like, okay, that's my final answer. If it's gun to my head, like, bubble gun to my head, I'm going to choose that. I don't know. I just like, like, she had, like, a bubble butt, and she's, like, twerky, and, like, she had a ponytail. My favorite Brandy Bay era, personally. And I loved her, like, big eyes. Like, people with big eyes, definitely, if you notice, they're more, like, cartoon looking. Like, they're always really pretty if you have big eyes. Is the edible kicking in? Probably. No, your biggest one. <laughs> right, why is this bitch not in black? I couldn't believe. I was like, Bang Bros. I don't, is Bang Bros about, like, brothers? I've never, I don't. Kind of porn I watch is disturbing. We're not gonna, I don't even know if I'm allowed to. I'm gonna be kicked off the Sammy Sprinkle show before it ever even happens. If I don't shut the fuck up. That's why I stopped doing those, these. If you remember back in the day, I used to be like in the bathtub, like crying. I got a minute and 55 seconds. <sighs> Good times. But anyways, I gotta go because Instagram is telling me. Let's hope I don't get kicked off for this. You've been sprinkled, bitch.